Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to generate any of the 3D roads for your Icon 8 3D animation software. It is a really easy tutorial. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. If you not yet get the Icon 8 3D animation software, you can just go to freedom3d.net to get all the Icon CC4 and all the plugins for your software. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step how to generate the 3D roads for Icon 8 in just one minute. So now I'm going to show you the step-by-step. -step. First, what you need to do is just go to the Google image and just download a road texture. In the Google image, you just search for road texture, just right-click, save the image as an SDMO. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And now I close it. You can see this is just a picture, All right? Once you already get this picture, next you have to go go to Blender. Blender is a free software. You can just go and download from the Blender official site. All right, this is Blender 4.1. It is a it it is the latest version today. So first in Blender, I'm going to click the empty area and press A and press delete. Just use the Blender. Next, add mesh. Cube. All right now you already have a cube. Next, just go to the edit mode and then press A to select all the vertices. Then right click, right click merge vertices at the center. Next, click the Z at here. You can see it is blue color. Click the Z. Then press E to just draw a curve that you want to create roots. Right. Next, just press A to select all of the vertices and press Ctrl B, drag a little bit and press the empty area. You can see the bevel is at here. Next, next you can just drag this to make sure it's smooth. Again, press A, Ctrl B, drag, then click the vertices. Make sure the width is suitable like this. Then the segment, you can just increase it. Make sure it's smooth. Then click back to the object mode. Then at here, what you need to do is just click the curve and press and right click your mouse, convert to a curve. This, this is your route. Next, just add a mesh, add, add a plane. Then click and press S to make it small like this. Then, next, click here to make sure it show off the texture. Then click here to just click plus new, add the texture, image texture, and choose open open from the desktop this is exactly the texture just double click it and then you can see this is a red line that means this is the x axis you have to make sure the line will follow the x axis just click and rotate it to face the x axis click here you can see when you are turning it the z axis is rotating just make sure the z is 90 degree if you need to adjust Make sure the road texture is faced to the red line. All right. Then click the plane and press Ctrl A to click all transform to make sure all transform. Then go to the modifier, add the modifier. Here search for array. Next, add the modifier again. Search for curve then under the curve the curve object here you have to choose this curve then under the array the counts you can just drag the counts to make sure to make sure it come to the end just like this done all right once done already next just click the plane again make sure you click here apply Click here, apply to make sure it disappears, and then you delete the curve. 
Just press delete and only left the plane. Now the road is already ready for your 3D animation. Next, you can just export it. Click file, export as FBX. And the path mode, you have to make sure choose copy and here have to turn on this setting is to make sure that the material texture embedded inside the FBX. And as demo, I will export it on my desktop. And the file name, I'm going to name this as road 01 and I click export the FBX. Now, the FBX already exported on my desktop. Then back to the icon, back to the icon 8 here. You can just drag and drop the FBX into icon 8. Then it is going to import into icon 8 at here. Then press F and have a look. Then you can just press R to drag and make it become a big road press r then you can rescale it now you can see you already have this this road right then you can just use it anytime you can rotate it you can just connect it anywhere for example if you want to connect it here you can just move it Wait, just move it to connect it. It is really easy, really awesome. Make it bigger. To make sure it, it all aligned together. Right now, you can see you already have this road connections like this. It is really awesome. You can make it longer, you can make it bigger. And just make sure Right, just like this Done Alright, now you already have this curve This is the way on how to generate any of the roads In any directions just by drawing a curve in Blender and in Blender software, you can just use it to generate any of the curve. Then finally, you can import into iCloud 8 3D animation software as a 3D mesh. Then you can perform the 3D animations on your generated road that here. All right, it is really easy. That's all for today about my tutorials on how to generate any of the 3D roads for your iCloud 8 3D animation software. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!